Hello my beautiful people, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and I am the counselor at Butterfly Project. So this video is kind of, you know, near and dear to my heart. This is something that um, I am working on in my own life right now. And you guys, as you know, those who have worked with me, I practice what I preach. Um, and so this is going to actually be, um, so this video is inspired by me, but this is actually about uh, our health. And I had already started working on this. Um, and then I had uh, an issue over the past week where um, I had a very severe episode of vertigo that has lasted days and I'm still not 100% you guys as I'm doing this video, um, but I really um, love doing these videos for you guys and I'm getting lots of, you know, great feedback and people are telling me, you know, how much they do appreciate it. So I kind of just wanted to uh, touch base on this. But as, you know, I'm kind of contemplating a lot of things, um, I realized, you know, Although I really prioritize peace in my life, which absolutely peace is, you know, a big priority. Um, I also have come to realize that even before peace, it doesn't really matter how much peace and joy that we have in our life or gratitude or whatever it is or um, abundance, you know, all these kinds of things. The number one thing is actually our health. If we don't have our health, we don't have anything, right? I learned this, especially it was like smacked right in my face, you know, this past week that without my health, it doesn't matter how I'm feeling, you know, mentally, emotionally, which is very good, actually, as you guys know, I'm quite, you know, positive and, um, you know, I become the queen at like, you know, um, finding a silver lining and, and turning things around. But if we don't have our health, that actually starts to affect, you know, our mental space, our emotions. Um, if we don't have our health, we can't do all the things that we like to do. We can't function. We can't like I got nothing done in the past week, you know, of all the things I wanted to do. Um, I'm very much a passionate person, fiery energy, right? You know, I'm also, um, you know, somebody who's very, you know, stable and grounded and hardworking. And I like, you know, doing all these things and I couldn't do anything. And I felt really helpless and, and, uh, just to be able to, you know, get up, you know, anybody that has uh, dealt with vertigo knows like when you are like, you know, holding onto the floor and, and having to crawl to the bathroom or like it's just it is it's really not a good experience. Right. And so that really solidified what I had already been focused on, which was my health. And although, you know, I've been doing all these good things for my health, what I realized was if I was really honest with myself, was I really fully investing in my health? Yes, I was doing some self care. Yes, I was doing little things here and there, but was I really um, focused on my health and investing in it? How much was I willing to invest in it? Um, and I started to realize, you know, um, many, many different things that has come up that has kind of caused this, uh, you know, to come up for me, you know, seeing people that I care about or people that I know of that are quite young, you know, passing away really early, things like that, or people getting sick, you know, at a, a young age with, you know, very severe diseases, things like that. Um, and, you know, I realized that, you know, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Today is a gift. So when we wake up in the morning, today is the gift. So saving money for tomorrow when we don't know if tomorrow is going to come, right? Um, and, you know, our health is the most important thing. And, and as you guys know, if you don't know kind of the acronym or not acronym, but, you know, when we talk about diseases, right? What is it? Is it dis ease it's disconnect right so we have different forms of health we have our mental health we have our physical health we have our emotional health and we also have our spiritual health okay and so i really worked hard on like the mental health the emotional health the spiritual health i dove deep into these things which is amazing and i help all my clients do that 
Um, but the physical one was the one that I was lacking on. It was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'll invest a lot into these other areas of health, but then that physical piece was a little bit different. And so what I realized is, no, I need to invest. And how do we invest? We invest with our resources, right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It also can be time effort right and so you know one of my goals was getting my body back to the way that it was before I was having kids right you know and actually even in between um, I used to work out a lot you know I love eating healthy um, and so investing time and energy into those things but also money, you know, I realized like I'm struggling with like motivation and I needed a trainer and somebody to kind of, you know, help me or a, a health coach to help me, you know, uh, get things going, um, you know, investing. I know times, you know, are tough with like food and, and stuff like that, but really investing that money into myself because and in health with like eating healthier and buying the better foods and buying all like the fruits and vegetables and all that kind of stuff and that you know um a really healthy you know fish and, and things like that doing these things is so important i am investing and guys i'm not just talking about me like i'm talking to you guys you know to be able to look at this but really be honest with yourself what are you investing in we have no problem paying for an incredible meal out because we know the time and effort and ingredients and work and creation that it took for that chef to create that meal. Well, why are we not investing in food outside of that for ourselves, right? Why are we, um, you know, um, spending a lot of money on things like our cars instead of spending money on our physical body, which is kind of like, you know, uh, a vehicle in our life, right? And I experienced that this week. Without my physical body, I can't do anything. It doesn't matter what my mind or heart says, I can't do anything. So investing in your health and with disease, going back to that, um, when we're disconnected, right? That's actually what causes dis ease us being disconnected from ourselves so yes mental emotional spiritual health we need to do things like grounding ourselves spending time in nature you guys this is so important go sit under a tree put your feet on the grass lay on the grass touch the ground when you do these things do it barefoot right when we do these things walk go for a walk under under you know trees or through a park listening to water things like that Going to a beach, of course, I know that's not something we can all do, you know, where I am right now, it's summer, so we can do that. But, you know, wintertime can be really hard. Uh, some people can afford to get away, others can't. Do what works for you. But spending time in nature, super important. If you like gardening, doing gardening, you know, all those kinds of things touching you know working with plants or maybe it's you know a garden with you know vegetables or, or whatever but you guys when we're doing these things to ground ourselves it really does help our health in so many ways oxygen mentally emotionally right spiritually if you want to do meditations you know sitting under a tree in a park that is such a great thing to do and actually you don't even need to do a full meditation you guys know that um i do have a video on this about the deep breathing technique the four 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 method right so taking the deep breath in for four hold it for four counts let it out for four counts and do that four times takes you two minutes depending on how fast you count a little less a little more right it's around two minutes Doing that with your eyes closed in a park, sitting, you know, touching, touching the grass, you know, barefoot, your hands touching under a tree. This is really great for your health. Okay. What are you investing? Not money, but you're investing your time and effort. You're taking time out of your day to do that. Okay. Investing money into yourself. So all these other things, you know, we're, we're spending so much money, you guys, the pandemic and even before the pandemic. The number one thing I learned and watching people leave this physical plane um, at a very young age and people at a rapid pace, it is so sad to watch. I really struggle with this, um, but it's really made me see what I value in my life. And the pandemic, I'm sure, taught that to a lot of people, but it's like I would rather 
live in the smaller home, have the cheaper vehicle, you know, but have that extra money to be able to live, to be able to invest in my health, to do those things that I like to do, whether it's, you know, uh, going for uh, acupuncture, or taking a yoga class or, you know, going swimming or, um, you know, whatever it is, all the self-care things, right? Getting my nails done, hair, all, all those things, getting a massage. These things are important as well for our physical health eating the right foods exercising you know doing what we need to get to that place for me um many many years ago actually my daughter was like six months old when i went to university to become a personal trainer and so i know everything there is to know about this stuff i also did tons of research on my own after with so many different things i struggled with but this time I'm like, I need somebody to help motivate me, to keep me on track, to check in with me, to keep me accountable. I need that, right? And so it's me choosing to invest in that. That's just one of the things, right? I realize I need things like massage. I'm a single mom. I'm hardworking. You know, I have a little guy who's super hyperactive. It is not easy. It's stressful, you know? I need to go for massages. I need acupuncture. I need, you know, certain body work. Um, I need these self-care things, you know? It's important for my physical health. So the point to my video is what are you investing in and how can you more invest in your health? What can you do to invest in your health today and to make your health a number one priority in your life? More sleep, that's another one I am working on. <laughs> um, but more sleep, you know, the proper vitamins and minerals, all of these things, skin care, um, you know, the things that we put on our body, what we ingest and, and put into our mouths really making those conscious choices each and every day in each and every moment this isn't about perfection you guys but if you kind of make a goal if you realize here's what i want to invest in and work on that um then you can make those choices every day easier and yeah we're gonna mess up we're human it's okay you make mistakes you know you go through the drive through whatever it happens and you know it is what it is and then you move on from it you say okay that you know lunch wasn't the greatest but you know what i'm gonna make myself a super healthy you know dinner um or whatever that is for you right you know i didn't you know work out today um I'm going to, you know, make sure I work out for the next two days or whatever it is, or do maybe a longer workout. Um, you know, I have been spending a lot of time indoors. I'm going to make sure that every day I'm going to go for, you know, a short walk, whatever, you know, you guys, whatever resonates for you, you guys come up with what works for you, but how can you better invest in your health? so that we are not disconnected, so that we don't get into this place of dis-ease because here's the thing, when you invest in your health, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I always tell my clients when they come for sessions with me, I'm like, you are doing such like good for you. I'm proud of you. You're investing in your mental, emotional health. That also affects your physical health, right? So what are you investing in, right? Because you, when you're investing in your mental, physical, you know, emotional and spiritual health, you are investing in your future you're investing in living longer you're investing in living a better quality life the house it stays behind the car it stays behind right those things don't matter and not just our health but who are you investing in right our friends our family our partners, that is what's important, right? You know, who are you investing in? Life is about balance. Of course, we have to work. We need to pay our bills, right? We have to do these things. But this is about bringing life back into balance, right? We weren't born and we were never meant to be able to, to live to work. We were meant to work to live. So working in order to have a life, not our whole life is about our work, right? And guys, I'm preaching to myself here too, because I, you know, super hardworking, very passionate, very creative. I love, you know, my job. I love all the things that I work on and do. I have so many other things that I want to work on and do. 
And I'm just like, I can't, you know, my body comes first. I need to really focus on my physical health. This means, yeah, I'm going to have to drop some of those things right now, put them on the shelf, you know, because I need more sleep or I need to work on, you know, my physical body. I need to, you know, spend more time making healthier meals or buying, you know, better ingredients and better groceries, um, whatever it is, this is what I'm doing. I'm just using myself as the guinea pig example here for you guys. But um, hopefully you guys get the point that I am saying that you need to invest in your health. People are, are spending so much money and time and effort investing into like upgrading their homes or upgrading their vehicles. What about your health? What about this vehicle? This is the most important vehicle and asset that you will ever have in your life. And people as they age can probably tell you this. And sometimes, hey, we're human. We get lazy. We get complacent. We forget, right? Even as we're aging, we forget. But as you age, it kind of is usually more of a daily reminder of like, oh, yeah, you know, that timeline's getting shorter. How do I want to live my life? Do I want to live light longer? Do I want to live healthier, better quality? How do I want to live? So when you guys invest right now in your health, I, I deal with guilt as well around this, especially with my kids. You know, I try to give them everything, but I'm working on it because investing in our health is the most important thing we can do and actually for me in my situation you know and, and you guys take it how it resonates but when i'm investing in my health to be a healthier more vibrant more energetic um a person you know to live longer to live a better quality life guess what i'm gifting that to my kids as well because i'm all that they have really so when you're investing in your health you're investing in your future the, this is the, the biggest, I'm going to coin this, the biggest investment of your life is in your health. All aspects, mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual, all of it. So how are you investing in your health? Are you investing your health? And do you need to maybe kind of reevaluate that and see how to invest or what needs to change to be able to invest in your health. All right, my loves. This was a very important, passionate topic for me. I hope this was help for, helpful for you guys, okay? Um, do all the things as always. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Tell me how you're investing in your health. And guys, as well, you know, share this video with anybody that you think it might be helpful for, okay? Um, because that's, that's my purpose of doing these videos is to help as many people as I possibly can. So I hope this was helpful for you. And don't forget to invest in your health because you are worth it. You are the most important person in your life. All right, my loves. And I wish you guys all peace, love, and light. Until next time. Bye-bye.